if you're planning a self tan this summer, then I've got a few tips that'll give you the perfect tan. I'm here to meet the ladies at the old Actonia Football Club who are used to showing off a bit of leg. Good morning, ladies. Good morning. Good morning. Are you ready for a bit of fake tanning? Yeah. Now, preparation is crucial. Ladies, time to defuzz that body hair. Any waxing should be done 48 hours before the tan, and shaving should be done 24 hours prior. You then need to exfoliate and avoid using any oil-based products as this can lead to streaking later. Your skin should be squeaky clean and free from makeup and deodorant. You then need to moisturise any dry areas. Use sparing amounts onto the feet, hands, elbows, wrists and knees. Applying a spray tan to the face, I recommend fair heads moisturise around the hairline and also on the eyebrows. Then hold your aerosol approximately 8 inches away from the face and apply 3 even strokes. Fake tan products can be messy, so put on some latex gloves or use a tanning mitt. Clear some space, time to apply the tan. Start at the top, working your way down to the bottom, being careful not to over rub and finish with the hands and feet. So now you look fabulous with your fake tan, but how do you keep it looking that way? Avoid wearing underwear and other tight fitting clothing immediately after applying the tan, loose clothing is the best option. Don't be tempted to jump in the shower after applying. You must leave your tan on for at least eight hours and for the best results, go to bed with your tan on.